Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I'll be discussing appendicitis. An appendix is a tubular structure shaped like a pig's tail that is attached to the first portion of the colon. It measures approximately 10 centimeter in length. When the opening of the appendix is obstructed by substance such as hair or stool, it can become inflamed, which may result in a condition known as appendicitis. Appendicitis most commonly develops in younger individuals in their teens or 20s. However, appendicitis can occur at any age in individuals who have not had their appendix removed. The initial symptoms associated with appendicitis may be nonspecific. Often, individuals affected may complain of vague abdominal pain that are diffuse and not well localized. Some may complain of indigestion, lack of appetite, nausea, or vomiting. However, as the inflammation progresses, abdominal pain becomes more severe and intense and localizes to the right lower region of the abdomen. To make the diagnosis of appendicitis, a careful physical examination is important and helpful. In particular, there may be a focal tenderness in the right lower abdomen, both when the area is gently pressed and sometimes even when the hand that is pressing the region is released. Some may develop fever and chill. Blood tests may demonstrate an elevation of white blood cell count. Although most instances of appendicitis may be diagnosed with physical examination and routine blood test, abdominal sonogram or CT scan may be helpful in difficult cases. If untreated, appendicitis may progress to gangrene, rupture, and even may be life-threatening. Thus, a timely surgical treatment is essential in the management of appendicitis. In most cases, surgery can be performed without much difficulty, and one can expect a full recovery from the surgery in one or two days. Thank you for listening.